School of Educational Development and Outreach and at the College of Education Studies has held a handing over ceremony at the Institute of Education Conference Room to usher in new management of the School of Educational Development and Outreach here at the University of Cape Coast. At the ceremony, the chairman of the event, Dr. NSK Davids, highlighted the need for a proper handing over notes. Drawing an allusion on the importance of a handing over, he compared the situation to that of a cabin crew on a plane. He further indicated that to have a smooth transition which will ensure the development of SEDU, it was very important that the outgoing management prepared one and also had this ceremony. It's a very important ceremony because we, those who are taking over must take over smooth so that the journey will be smooth. You see, when the pilot is exiting the cockpit for another set of crew members to take the plane, you know, when they, you travel from London to Ghana, it's not the same crew members that take the plane back. A different set of crew members. But what helps the new crew is the very well written logbook that catalogs everything that happened from the start of the engine at where the journey started to the point where the plane touched off down, tied the ground, and the pilot hesitated. The lights that came up, the way the plane behaved, they take up those things. And they hand it over to the next crew. So when the next crew take over the equipment, they are aware of the condition. And I guess that is the essence of this meeting. You have taken very good notes of the system you've managed for three years, and then two years, and one year in some uh, 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 cases. And a new crew, new captain is coming to take over. So it makes sense to hand over your notes so that the journey will be smooth. In your case, you are not going to sleep. You are also in the in the ship. You are in the in the in the boat. You are in the plane. The outgoing Dean of SEDU, Professor George K. T. O. Drew, in his speech also highlighted some of the challenges he faced prior to his assumption of office. He however lauded the efforts of the current Vice-Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Johnson Yakubampong especially, and others for their assistance. He also used the opportunity to call for an improvement along the lines of communication at the school in general. However, according to Professor Katie O'Drew, if the channels of communication laid down by the school are followed, it will help improve communication and help the system to work effectively. He also further went on to enumerate some of the key challenges the school faced. One key challenge we had, the SEDO had two institutes and three centers. SEDO and for that matter the college was very happy when at the end of the day category two idea came from the UNESCO and gave every support. But once IEPA obtained the category two, without any recourse to the school and for that matter to the college, all we heard was that the IEPA was no longer part of SEDU. And yet at the initial stage when the IEP wasn't no longer part of SEDU, they were bringing theses to the dean's office to process promotion things were coming. And it, it was like, if you are not part, why bring this? So SEDU took a decision by the college board that there hadn't been any formal communication from the university, and so we should continue. And until the new vice chancellor came, um, no official move had been made to address this issue. The new dean of SEDU, Professor Christine Eduyabua, indicated that she can't do it all, especially without the help of God and that of her colleagues. She therefore called on all and Sandri to continue to support her to live up to her calling and responsibility. Strength comes from God. Wisdom comes from God. The Bible says so, that anybody who lacks wisdom should ask him. 
and he will give it abundantly. And I trust that colleagues, we've worked together, you all attest to the fact that whatever I was able to do was not my own strength. God gives me, gave me and continues to give me wisdom, very difficult times. The Institute work is really, really challenging. So to get the Institute to where it is today, um, in the midst of COVID and the many activities we run, and having sailed through, all I can say is that it has been God. And so I commend God to everybody. Uh, those of us who are coming in, taking responsibility, those of us who are going to push the new directors or those taking responsibility, we all need God to give, give us the grace and the ideas from heaven to be able to uh, give the needed support and assistance to uh, the people we work with. Having said that, let me also say, colleagues, that God gave all of us the strength and wisdom, and you didn't hide your wisdom, your ideas, your uh, knowledge, everything you knew to do. You didn't hide them. You didn't sit on them. But you gave out freely. And I believe we have worked, all colleagues here, we have worked together in one way or another. We've worked together. And the nature of the Institute work um, needs everybody in the College of Education Studies, including even those outside the college. And everybody has given his support fully to what the Institute does. And so um, I want to entreat colleagues that it is the same support we will need. The school is made up of all of us here. And I don't think uh, I know how to become a dean yet. I don't know how to be a dean. And so I'm going to depend on colleagues who know how to be a dean because you have worked with a dean before. I have worked with a dean myself. I have learned something, but I believe some of us have also learned other things I might not have learned. So I'm open to you to give me ideas to help me do the work. After all, it's the work of the university and we are all in it together. She also encouraged all gathered to work hard and uplift the name of UCC since all work that is done is about protecting the image of UCC and giving back to the institution that developed them. And we are all in it together. If we sing, we sing together. It is not about me, it is about UCC. And so the um, directors, we are going to work together. We, we should all remember that whatever we do in any capacity, it is about the image of UCC. So when we are doing our outreach activities, when we are sending people out, when we are bringing people together, we should remember first of all that it is about UCC. And if UCC has made us good, I said this at our departmental, my last departmental board meeting. If UCC has made us good, then we also have to give back to UCC. And in every way possible. For us at the Institute, we stay in at work, we sleep here, it becomes necessary. And um, weekends, we don't know weekends and holidays. We're Among the list of new management are Dr. Bernadi Osechi Aqua, the director of CTPD, Professor Eric Anani, who takes over from Professor Christian Eduyeboa as the new director of the Institute of Education. Also, Dr. Christopher Yaoqua takes over from Professor Rismary Busu as vice dean of SEDU, and Professor Christian Eduyeboa takes over from Professor George Katie Udru as a current dean. Reporting for TVUCC, my name is Onesifira Subulbi.